As Steve said, my name is Chuck Wolverton. I'm with King & McGregor Environmental, working for Woodland Road LLC and preparing this application for a permit. We've got about an eight or nine minute PowerPoint presentation to give you some more information on the project. I'm actually glad they did the PowerPoint presentation earlier because it clarified a few things for me. And initially when I looked at the purpose of the road, it said mining, logging, aggregate, recreational use. But when I looked at that map, the beginning point is the mill and the end point is the mine. To me, that means this is a mining road. Woodland Road will provide needed all-season access for emergency vehicles, including EMT, fire, snowmobile trail, and search and rescue. Woodland Road will provide access for rec recreational enthusiasts. I don't understand the recreation argument because how is this going to improve? our recreational opportunities. I think it's going to really make a mess. It, it's not going to be attractive to folks who are really interested in a remote experience. I'm uh, David Martin, General Manager of Franco Incorporated in Marquette. I'm Mark Abramson, uh, Forest Lands Manager for JM Longyear. I'm Joe Galeno, representing Labor Local 1329. We represent 700 members across the UP. Tony Ritaski. Market County resident and also executive director of the Upper Peninsula Construction Company. My name is William Hennigan, forester with Holly Forest Products Incorporated here in Ishwaming. My G Vine representing Beth and Irico Incorporated. We're an explosive supplier to Eclipse and Brigham Sons and hopefully Kennecott. We're supporting the Portland Road project. We're merging the DNRE to approve the Woodland Road uh, permits. Boy, reading all those letters to the editor in the Mining Journal, I didn't know the NRE was so well liked. Um, so that's that's interesting. Uh, I guess we're just talking about deer management tonight. After James Sadigan is Bruce Enstrom. My name is Jim uh, Sorgan, and I've been a Market County resident for 44, 84 years, I'm sorry. I would like to acknowledge and thank uh, Lindbergh Construction, John Gilbert, Kennecott, and the Timber Industries for their foresight in the formation of Woodland Incorporated. Where else could you find private industry come together to build and pay for a 20 plus mile road built to county road specifications and open to the public with an estimated cost of $50 million. I'd like to suggest that this- We have a lot, we have government, we have you. And so please, please do that. Apply the law. There's flaws in this, there's been flaws throughout the entire process, and you need to address those. Um, take your time. There's, you have experts, you are experts, you have experts in the community, in the state, in the nation, there's experts in this room, talk to them, um, and I urge you to throw all the emotion and interest and different issue, issues and people, um, be, be the employees that you are and apply the law fairly. Thank you. My name is Jim Carey, I'm a logging contractor in Channing, Michigan, a major player in the forest products industry, I own land and Ely Township, Marquette, uh, several places in Marquette County, all the townships, Dickinson County, Aaron County. I'm a fifth generation extractor of the natural resources. A lot of my family members are miners. Uh, I do a lot of business with the people in, in the area here that uh, we buy products from. I agree with a lot of the comments made by some of the people that probably don't like what I do every day. We provide jobs for 35 families, pretty good jobs, pretty good benefits. Uh, I don't really support some of the things that DEQ does, DNR, but keep in mind, it takes you sometimes 15 or 20 weeks to get a stream crossing permit. It'll, get, it'll take you 20 years to get a permit for this road. But uh, this road, I don't need this road to do what I do. And I'd like to see more jobs in the UP, good paying jobs, and if Cleveland Cliffs could expand, or some of the other mines could expand, they'd probably provide those jobs, and they'd probably stay in this area. But I don't think I, I want to put my financial future in Rio Tinto or the Kennecott Mine or anybody who's got anything to do with it, because they're not here to help our environment, they're here to make money, and they don't give a damn about us or our environment. Thank you. Stay for 
Wilson, thanks you for the opportunity. I live on the north branch of the Otter River in southern Hope County. It's a haul road. Um, there's a bridge to nowhere right next to my house, which the state and county took the property from me to build this bridge because they said they would condemn it if they, if they couldn't. So that's a little bit of history on my experience with all this. The uh, whole issue seems to be with all the speakers that have gone before me uh, that are in favor of this project uh, is trust. I try to boil it down to one word, trust. And it seems like the overriding comments uh, kind of revolved around trusting the state the regulations and the people uh, in Lansing or, or in Marquette and regional offices to, to monitor and, and mitigate this um, proposed action. Um, the river that I live on was the last known river in Michigan to contain a native uh, grayling because of its purity and temperatures and so on. There's none there now. The stretch of river that I own, one half a mile, um, was easily, uh, you could easily catch a hundred fish in an evening and release them almost every evening when I first bought this land. It's in the 70s and now there's no holes and no fish. And the reason I'm mentioning this is because, uh, back to the word trust, I just looked up online because I can't find the pamphlet any place locally in any of the bait stores or the licensed places. Uh, there's no um, pamphlet to hand out the uh, consumption regulations for fish advisories. And that trust that I have in the people in power uh, has been degraded significantly over the years that I've fished and eaten fish and consumed them and enjoyed them. And I, I printed out just three pages of the Lake Superior watershed and virtually every stream in the Lake Superior watershed in the UP has fish advisories for women and children. So if everyone here is so concerned about jobs and the future and the health of their children, perhaps they need to revisit that concern because there isn't a Great Lakes that isn't contaminated in every major stream and every fish that we want to catch and eat and it isn't containing PCBs, mercury, and so on. And if this mine goes through and there is an accident, if you can't regulate it and control it the way you propose you can, then perhaps uh, we'll just have to add another thing to the next fish advice. Road is um, will not be legal. The mine has, in order for this road to uh, be a haul road, Kennecott has been notified from the D uh, before it became the DNRD that they have to file a, an amendment to the process. That means that they would have to uh, before they could, before they could construct or haul for down this road, they would need to file an amendment in Part 632, which has a whole plethora of things that is not part of this wetlands prom, uh, permit, which would be the environmental impact assessment, the environmental protection plan, contingency plan, federal, state, local permits, and provisions for bond. I think that we have to uh, have considerations for wildlife, on what the sort of impact this is going to have, not just bare minimums. There's a lot of money involved in here. This company's got lots of money. They're going to make billions of dollars on this. I think uh, we have an opportunity to ask for more than just bare minimum, bare minimum rules, bare minimum mitigation, what have you. This isn't going to be some little meandering woods road, as they say. They're saying 45 miles an hour. Well, I'll tell you what, I, I drove the Elkan Highway about 30 years ago when there was 1,000 miles of gravel. That road was listed as 40 five miles an hour, but everybody was going 60. And, uh, you know, we have, I think we have to try to get whatever we can from this to help out our, our wildlife, habitat, uh, the townships, the county, and the UP. Mr. Moran, step up and tell us your name. My name is Jeremiah Moran, and uh, I represent me and my family, and uh, I live in the woods, and uh, also this road, if you put it there, it could, it could kill all those bugs and those fish, and all the other plant life that's in there. Thank you. Thank you. 